For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, uh, in this problem, this force of the has a magnitude of 30 newtons acts on the bracket shown. Find the moment of the force about the AA axis on the pipe, and you're given the angles of the force. Then they want you to do something else. We'll, we'll get to that later. Let's do the first part. So basically, you're given the Cartesian vector form of the force because you're given the direction angle. So the Cartesian vector form of the force is basically the force times the cosine of the angle. So you got 30 times cosine of the angle that it forms with the x and the i plus 30 cosine of beta and the j plus 30 cosine of the last angle in the k. So this force comes out to be 15 in the i plus 15 in the j plus 21.2 in the k. And I want you to find the moment that it creates about the, the AA axis. Now notice, this pipe, thanks to this bands right here, can only turn this way. It can turn this way. That it cannot do. So the, the force in the Y is not really doing anything. It's just the force in beta and the, for, the force in the angle that it forms with the X. Th these are the two forces that are the ones that are with this angle. So this is important for the second part. So remember, the force on the Y, in other words, the component of the force along the Y is not doing anything. To create a moment into this into this so keeping that in mind the moment about AA is given by you do y times OA let's say O is right here and let's say A is right here so this will be OA you the I because I told you it can only turn this way and the y is not doing any work so you got to multiply it by the unit vector in the y direction cross f and f we found it right here so we build this this is 0 1 0 point 1 0 negative point 1 5 15 15 21 point 2 and put a little emphasis in case you didn't get something. Why is it U on the Y? Because if you can only turn this way, or the opposite way by that matter, but you can tell by the force that it's going to turn this way, it can turn around the Y, parallel to the Y. If you can turn around parallel to the Y, and it can only turn around parallel to the Y, then you use the uni vector in the Y direction. That's why we have this vector right here. Hope that's clear. Point 0.1, 0, 15, 15 you do your positive diagonals first one zero second one is one times negative point one five times one five comes out to be negative two point twenty five negative diagonals negative 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 zero zero and the last one is twenty one point two times point one times one is minus two point twelve so this moment comes out to be four point thirty seven uh, again, this is in newtons and this is in meters. I forgot to tell you something. I converted this millimeters into meters. So this 50 millimeters is, is 0.05. This is 0.1 and this is 0.1. That's how I got these vectors. The position of OA, I mean the position of A is at 0.1 because the position of A is 0.1 in the X and then it's straight down on the C. So it's 0.1 in the I plus 0 on the J minus 0.15 in the K. That's how I got the vector in the middle from. So this is the moment that it creates right here. Now, you want to find the, for the second part, they want you to find the direction angles of F to produce the maximum moment. Now remember what I told you. The component of the force in the Y is not doing anything because this thing can cannot turn any other way that is not the Y. So only the C and the X are making the work. Now you can tell by this vector right here, 
And remember the rule that I told you in a lot of other problems. Whenever they ask you maximum moment, you got to think 90 degrees. Maximum moment is always achieved at 90 degrees. And you know that any, mo any force going towards the y direction is going to be wasted because these bands don't allow this to turn any other way that is around the y axis. Therefore, Vera has to be equal to 90 degrees. Vera is equal to 90 degrees, which will make the force lie in the C x plane at 90 degrees from OA. So this is OA, and this is the force F, and this is 90 degrees. Now, this is the x, and this is the y. You know this is 90 degrees. All you got to do is find this angle right here. We know that A sits at point 0.1 in the x and point 0.15 going down in the C. So finding this angle is a matter of doing the tangent inverse of point 0.15 over point 0.1. That will give you, sorry of 0.15 over 1. That will give you the angle that I'm going to call this angle right here. I'm going to call Vera. That's this angle right here, Vera. So Vera comes out to be 56.3 degrees. If Theta is equal to 56.3 degrees right here, and you know that if you add 90 degrees, you're going to be basically right here. This, is, this whole thing is 90 degrees. So 90 degrees minus Theta is going to give me the angle that it forms with the X. The angle that it forms with the x is like that. So basically, this angle comes out to be 33.7 degrees. And the angle that it forms with the c, since it lies on the, sorry, this is the c plane. Since it lies on the cx plane, this angle right here is again 90 minus the angle that it forms with the x, and this would be equal to this angle. And this angle comes out to be what the other one was before. 56.3 degrees so this is the angle this is the angle that it forms with the x this is the angle that it forms with the c and the angle that it forms with the y is 90 degrees so final answer for the angles just remember the rule whenever you see maximum moment in a problem you gotta think 90 degrees. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.